Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining me again. Do you ever worry about what other people think of you? I think that pretty much all of us do this sometimes, don't we? We think, what will they think about what I've done? What will they think about what I haven't done? Or what will they think of what I said? Or even what I'm wearing? Sometimes we're not even quite sure who they are, but somehow it still matters. For the last couple of days on this live stream, I've been thinking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and I'm just going to spend one more day with her and her cousin Elizabeth and with their concerns about what the other might think. So these are not my words. This is a story called Two Women, One Door, and it is by Bob Hartman. There were two women, two cousins with two secrets and one wooden door between them. The woman on the outside of the door was barely a woman, more of a girl, really. As she raised her hand to knock, she wondered, how shall I tell her? How shall I tell my cousin about this thing that has happened to me? And in an instant, it all came back to her. The angel's greeting, her startled shock, and the angel's message. You'll have a baby, God's own special son. And you will call him Jesus, for he is coming to save the world. How? she'd answered. How can this be, since I'm not even married? And the angel's answer, that God's spirit would somehow come upon her, was still quite troubling. Would her cousin be shocked? Maybe not. That was why she'd come, really. The angel had said that her cousin was also expecting a baby, even though she was well past normal childbearing age. So maybe she, of all people, might be able to understand what had happened? Otherwise, there was no way to make sense of this. No way to explain it. That was all the girl could say. And with that, Mary knocked on the door. The woman on the other side of the door raised her head at the sound and moved slowly across the room. She was an older woman, much, much older, too old to have a baby for sure, but her swollen belly said something different. As she made her way to the door, she wondered what, how she would explain that belly to her cousin. Her quick rehearsal sounded ridiculous. She'd said it to herself. An angel appeared to my husband while he was working in the temple. The angel told him we'd have a baby boy. He told him to call the baby John, and that John would be the one to prepare our people for the coming of the Messiah, God's own special one. And furthermore, because my husband found his story just a bit far-fetched, the angel struck him dumb, and so he's been sat here for the last six months as quiet as a stone. The older woman shook her head. She'll think I'm mad. She'll turn around and run out of here like it was a crazy house. And she looked at her silent husband, and he smiled, and she smiled back. And with that, Elizabeth opened the door. As soon as she did, as soon as she laid eyes on Mary, her baby kicked. Not a gentle kick, but a big, hard kick, like he was dancing, trying to kick his way out or dancing for joy. And that's when Elizabeth knew, without Mary having to say one word. You're going to have a baby, aren't you? And he's the one, isn't he? God's own special son. And here you are, at my door, to honour me with your presence. Come in, come in, and trust that all that God has promised will come true. So Mary went in, and the two women shared their stories. Two women, two cousins, no longer two secrets like a door between them, just the promise of two special sons. Mary and Elizabeth got to a place where God let them know that it wasn't about what anybody else thought. They didn't even need to worry about what each other thought. It was just between them and God. It was to do with what God had promised. That's a good place to be. So, as ever, I'm going to finish with a prayer. And as ever, if you'd like to make it your prayer, 
feel free to stick an amen in the comments. Loving God, help us not to worry about what other people think of us, but simply to stay close to you and to try to do whatever it is that you want of us. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.